it does seem to me that um, the leadership that was offered through um, the paternal declaration uh, at the level of the Pope and the Grand Imam, uh, and importantly, that the document was not simply left as a flat document to enter history with no, if you like, no legacy, with no leavening power going into the future, that the setting up of the High Commission, for example, and the continuing of the work and the inviting of us to be part of um, a shared day of prayer today, that these are important aspects of creating an oppositional tidal wave a tidal wave of decency and goodness based on tolerance because the toxin of intolerance, the virus of intolerance, is it's out in the community. It goes from father to son, from mother to daughter, from parent to child. It, it, it arises in community. It is shared in community. It's the one thing, we, none of us at the moment, we, you know, we don't have the answer we don't have the vaccine, we don't have for COVID, but we surely do have the vaccine for intolerance. And that mm. is tolerance. And it starts with what comes out of our mouths. It starts with what we say and how we teach our children. So the building of a culture of tolerance in our homes, our communities, our countries, our globe, is as big and important a problem right this minute as dealing with COVID and running in parallel with COVID, we're able to see what we are capable of, the decency, the goodness, the kindness that transcends all sorts of vanities just to get the job of human decency done. We can see that. And how our hearts break when we see people dying alone, whether it, no matter where it is in the world, where they die alone in ICU units with no one to hold their hand, with a stranger covered in masks who can't be seen and who cannot offer them the words of comfort that we would like to offer to anyone facing their death or facing their dying. So it seems to me that, that we have a role here, every one of us, at individual level, at leadership level, to get really in behind, to get so strongly in behind this fraternal declaration to get behind a cult the building of cultures of tolerance to, not as just a nice word but as an active leaven in our homes and communities that is capable of changing the future by eradicating intolerance mm. 